Hey, how's it going? My name is Dustin Hudson, and today we're going to be going over really quickly how to export OBJ sequences out of Cinema 4D. Now, you probably already know that Cinema 4D doesn't natively export OBJ sequences, so we're going to need to look at a few plugins. This tutorial isn't really on how to do something specific, but more just talking about the advantages of what plugin to use. So you are going to need a third-party plugin to export these OBJ sequences, and there's a couple different options for that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the two different plugins that you would be able to export an OBJ sequence out of Cinema 4D. One is this one specifically made for Plexus called the Plexus OBJ Sequence Exporter for Cinema 4D. And the other one is called Riptide Pro. So these aren't free, this one's 30 bucks and the Riptide Pro is 50 bucks. And I'll show you sort of what the differences are. So hopefully this little dynamic simulation shows up okay on the screen capture because sometimes that's tricky. So basically I have this really simple scene set up with some dynamics. There's a plane and then there's just three letters and they all have the dynamics tags on them. I was going to go a little bit over how this is set up, but I'm in Cinema 4D R12 and they're already at 14. I know it's changed a little bit since then. So real quick, I just have a rigid body on the text and I have this collider tag on the plane. So you sort of just hit play and you'll see the dynamics start to go and if you click on them, you can go to the collision and you can change the balance, the friction, collision noise, all that stuff. So I want to bring this animation into Element 3D. Now with the Plexus, what you do is you install the plugin and if you go to File, Export, you'll see this Plexus OBJ Sequence Export option. And what you do is you just click on it and you choose your output. And you'd go ahead and just select your output, hit OK, and it would run through it. And if I were to go to After Effects right now, and I'm going to go ahead and make a new comp, Control N, OK, and then I'm going to hit Control Y to make a new solid. Now I'm going to go to Effect, Video Copilot, Element. And I'm just going to click on the Scene Setup, Import 3D Sequence. I need to navigate to my location. So Documents, Video Copilot, Models, and then I saved it in this OBJ from Plexus folder. Double click on it. Maybe sort from 0 to the largest number instead of the largest number to 0. Select the first one, hit open. And as you can see, it's in here, and if I play with the frame offset, it should sort of do its thing. But there's a little bit of an issue. As you can see, the model looks grayed out. There's no shading on it. It's not reacting to the lights. And this is because the model doesn't have any normals. And the normals is just a piece of information that should get exported that basically holds information that the model needs to react properly in a scene. So there is one quick fix for this, and you could go to Plexus, click on the model name, and if you go to the bottom, there's this Auto Normals checkbox, and if you click it, it should generate some normals, and you can play with the threshold a little bit and try to get it to look okay. And this will work a lot of the time, but when you're working with an OBJ sequence, it could get a little bit slow, and it may not look as desired because it has to go through so many frames. As you can see, the polygons look sort of smoothed over strange every once in a while. And again, this is because the Plexus OBJ exporter doesn't export normal data with your model. And the reason being is just because that product is optimized to be used with Plexus, so it does a really good job of exporting the point data for it to be used properly with that plugin, not with Element, because Element needs the correct polygon data. So let's check out the Riptide Pro plugin. So we're in the same project from earlier. So I'm going to go to Plugins, and you can see I have this Riptide Pro tab now. So you just download the plugin and install it into the Cinema 4D Plugins folder, and you can access it from there. So I'm going to go to this tab, click on OBJ Exporter, and I'm just going to hit Yes. And I'm just going to move this up real quick. And by default, it will be on Single File for Scene. And I'm going to change this to Animation Sequence. And this will export our OBJ sequence. So I'm going to go to Filter, I'm going to make sure that Export Normals is checked on, and that way our model doesn't look grayed out in a second. And if we go to the Animation tab, we can choose what frames we want to export. And I'm just going to leave it at All, but you can manually change it. And you just hit OK, and you just navigate to where you want it to be saved. And I've already done this at the OBJ Sequence 01 folder, so I'm just going to hit Cancel. And what's going to happen is a little progress bar is going to pop up, and it's going to chug through it, telling you what frame it's at, and then it'll let you know when it's done. So I'm just going to cancel, and let's go back to After Effects. Now I'm going to get rid of this, File, Import 3D Sequence, Models, OBJ Sequence 01, so that's from the Riptide Pro. And just select the top one, hit Open, 
and as you can see it is looking all good if I play with the frame offset you can see it animates does a little bounce and just set that back to zero so this is how we want it to look we don't have to change any of the normal information in here it's already fixed and you're good to go so like I said this Riptide Pro plugin has a lot of cool options in it and it's really good for exporting single OBJs as well and there's lots of great options for exporting to other programs as well especially for Element now of course it's not perfect for every situation I've heard a few interesting scenarios where it's not done the perfect job but for the most part it does a really great job and I would recommend using it so if we just hit OK and create a camera real quick maybe zoom in for now and as you can see we have our animation playing now in our After Effects scene now a couple other things you could do is you could go to the particle look and go to the baked animation and you could speed up the simulation a little bit if you felt it was going too slow now keep in mind if you slowed it down it might look choppy because it'd be doubling the amount of sequences per frame so basically the Plexus one is great for using with Plexus because it doesn't need the polygon information the Riptide Pro plugin is made specifically to export polygon data so it does a really good job of that and there's a lot of really good export options for getting your OBJs out of Cinema 4D so hopefully that helps out a little bit just to see the difference between the two before you decide which one you want to go with so if you're still unsure there actually is a 30-day trial for the Riptide Pro plugin and that's plenty of time to mess around with it to make sure that's what you need so thanks for watching this little overview I put the link to those two plugins in the description below if you have any questions drop a comment and I'll try to see if I can answer it my name is Dustin Hudson and I'll see you next time